Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne, a children's librarian here at the Manchester City Library, and welcome to Elementary Experiments Summer Reading Edition. Here we will do experiments and activities aimed at elementary grades 1 through 6 uh, with a focus on STEAM or Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, or Math. If you want to join us in person, uh, please visit our website to register. Um, this will guarantee that you get a craft kit for that week. Um, and also, if you are um, signed up for our summer reading program, um, going to elementary experiments will earn you um, the weekly badge for this week. Um, because our um, summer reading program is all together now, which we are doing along a camp theme. Um, so we are kind of earning scout badges for attending um, one of our programs each week. Um, elementary Experiments will um, earn you one of those badges um, for the week that it is um, running. Of course, you don't have to be in summer reading to enjoy Elementary Experiments. Um, and also, you don't even have to be in grades one through six to enjoy it online. Uh, so that's why I thought we would continue to post our activities and crafts here in a shortened version. Um, and these videos will be going up the same day um, that we do have the program in person, which is a little bit different than how we did it during the school year. Uh, so just be aware of that and double check um, our um, calendar if you do want to come in person. But also, I understand if you would rather continue here online. Now that that is all covered, let's get into this week's elementary experiments. Hello everyone and welcome to Elementary Experiments. Uh, sound and Water is our theme for this week um, where we are kind of covering our um, week five of summer reading, which is our uh, fireside tales with our um, sort of storytelling music badge. And um, week six, which is our fishing for knowledge, which kind of covers um, waterways and um, fishing. Uh, so our activities are going to reflect that. Um, and I am pretty excited. Um, again, our first activity um, is a little bit more involved again because uh, we are in summer. So um, our in-person um, elementary experiments, um, we've kind of uh, ranked it up, ramped it up a little bit. Um, so for you at home, um, that means that you are definitely going to want um, an adult to help with this one. Um, if you can um, gather all the supplies, um, but if not, don't worry, we have um, our other activity and craft coming up. So um, our very first activity is actually to make a water filter. Um, now, the first thing I wanna say is that even if you put water through um, a homemade filter, that does not actually um, mean that it is safe to drink. Um, we are just filtering out um, mainly the particles that we can see and getting an idea of how it is done professionally at water treatment plants um, and by um, professional um, filters that have been made by scientists uh, to um, make water safe to drink um, from outside sources. Our second activity um, involves sound um, and is a classic. We are going to be making the classic uh, paper cup string foam. Uh, technically, uh, you don't, it doesn't actually have to be a paper cup. Um, and in fact, it might be a cool experiment um, to try out different types of cups for the end um, and um, make a hypothesis or a guess on how um, different materials like um, using soup cans um, versus the paper cup versus um, like a plastic cup um, will affect how sound travels through um, your string phone. Um, as usual, definitely ask an adult um, or whoever's house that you are in um, and getting cups from uh, before you um, put any holes in any cups um, and make sure you are in a safe work environment um, with people to help 
if you need to put holes in anything stronger than a paper cup. Um, remember, be safe first. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put the official instructions for our classic paper cup and string foam on the screen, as well as our um, explanation of what is going on and why this is working. Um, and I will meet you back here for our craft. All right, welcome to our craft for our sound and water elementary experiments, where we are going to be making um, a bug on a leash. So if you um, are able to get to the Manchester City Library the week that this goes up, we should um, still hopefully have some kits left over. Um, and if not, um, this kit is still pretty um, easy to gather the supplies for. Um, in the kit, there is going to be a popsicle stick. There is going to be an index card, which is um, like a three by five inch um, card, a kind of a card stock, basically. We're gonna have some string. We are gonna have two um, little eraser caps. And we are going to have a kind of thick rubber band. This rubber band is number 64 for the thickness. All right, what we're gonna need um, besides what's in the kit is going to be a stapler. Um, I also have some tape. Um, and then if you want to do any decorations, um, as usual, just grab whatever you want to add to um, our basic craft. Okay. So the first thing we need to do um, is to secure the string onto our popsicle stick. Um, now when I originally read the instructions, it said to um, punch a hole through one end of the popsicle stick. Um, and I found that really, really kind of hard and impossible to do without like special tools. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to take our string. We're gonna tie one end so that there's like a knot on the end. And then I'm gonna like tie another knot. And I'm gonna try and make it so that they are like right on top of each other or as close as two and then maybe one more. So we got a pretty good size knot. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap one one time around the popsicle stick right i'm going to put it at the end then i'm going to go ahead and put some tape around the end making sure the string can escape and then i'm going to finish that off with a staple so we've got this right here, and we're gonna put a staple right over the string to really keep it in place. Um, because we are going to be spinning our finished bug on, the, on a leash um, by the leash or the string. So we wanna make sure that it's really stuck on there and isn't going anywhere, okay? Uh, that. Also, um, whenever you spin something around, you want to make sure you're in a safe area um, and aren't going to hit anyone or anything. Because remember, first rule of elementary experiments is to be safe, then to have fun, then to learn stuff. So first means you check your surroundings before you sp start um, doing anything that could hit anything. Okay, next step, once we have our string secured, is to take our index card and we're going to find the short end and we're going to center that on our um, popsicle stick and then we are going to take our stapler again and we are going to put three staples on the card to hold it in place 
you need someone to help you get the staples through the popsicle stick, definitely ask. All right, there we are. Um, at this point, I would say it might be a good time to go ahead and to decorate um, your index card however you would like if you want to do any decorations. Um, because it's a little bug on a leash, I think I am going to go ahead um, and do like a little drawing of a bug, maybe a ladybug, um, just to sort of demonstrate that and make it a little bit more fun. So we have our decorated um, bug on the leash. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we are going to take our um, little eraser caps and we are going to put them onto our ends of our um, popsicle sticks. There we go. And then we are going to put our rubber band over the ends of the erasers. Oops. There we go. So you see how there's a little bit of air space because it's going over the erasers. Okay, um, so that is basically the entirety of making the bug on a leash. Uh, now we have to test it. Um, so I'm going to um, clear my area so that hopefully we have enough room. Okay, now I have enough room uh, to do this inside and I also have no one around me. Um, I would suggest probably taking this outside um, to try just to be safe. Um, but like I said, I am trusting you guys to follow rule number one. Okay, so here is my bug on a leash. And if you notice, um, I actually don't need the whole leash. Um, so if you hold the leash closer to the bug, you can just spin from that point, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get it going pretty fast and hopefully you guys can hear it, okay? All right, can you hear that buzz? <laughs> All right, and that is our bug on a leash. Um, so what is happening here is um, that the air is going in between the rubber band um, and the index card um, and it is vibrating the rubber band and that what is what's making that humming sound. Um, the index card um, I think is to mainly uh, keep it straight and to give it some lift so that it spins um, nicely. Um, also, the card itself will do a little vibration to add to that as well. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed uh, making this um, bug on a leash and you have fun taking it on some walks. All right, so that covers this week's elementary experiments, uh, sound and water. I hope that you had fun. Um, I'll give you a heads up on next week where we are covering the last two weeks of our summer reading program, which is week seven's uh, snacks and sleep um, with our sort of shelter cooking badge. And then week eight, um, which is um, Parks and Pages, um, where we are focusing on um, like national and um, local parks um, and um, of course wrapping up our reading. Uh, so in that elementary experiment, we are going to be talking about um, how um, humans perceive um, taste um, with an activity um, that I can't tell you very much about here because it will uh, spoil the um, surprise. Um, and also we are going to be making um, an anemometer, uh, which is used uh, to help test wind speeds. Um, it's very important for a whole variety of um, different like jobs and areas. Um, so we are going to test that and hopefully we'll have um, a nicely windy day that we can actually go and try and measure the wind speed at the library. Um, finally, um, we are going to be doing a really fun um, craft. We're going to be making um, some bracelets um, so that you will always have a bit of emergency rope on you when you need to. Um, 
As always, I will put up a few book suggestions related to this week's elementary experiments, just in case you um, were really interested and want to learn a little bit more. Um, as usual in the summer, uh, we do have more book suggestions um, through Read Squared um, that you can uh, also check out and put towards your summer reading. Um, we are going to be getting towards the end of that, so I encourage everyone to submit your minutes um, and definitely join any raffles that you have not yet. You've done the work, you might as well um, reap the rewards. Uh, if you can, I would love to see you for our last summer elementary experiments on August 8th, um, but if you can't make it in person, don't worry, we will have um, a video posted that same day. All right, until then, bye!